Hey, what's up guys? We're just at the quad pad right now in Hamilton. Just paid my seven bucks to get in. Got here and was a little worried when there was absolute chaos going on at the front there because we got to a minor hockey tournament. So that's what we usually get. Brings me back to the good old days when we were uh, just had the, what seemed like thousands of people just hanging out. Uh, lots of pressure, lots of fun though. I always enjoyed those. I think it's like a spring hockey tournament, so that was always my favorite time. When everybody got to play with some new players and new teams, and it's always just just a lot of fun. So we're we got my bag set up here. We got two hours of ice to work with. Should be fun. I'm excited. And basically, what I would say, and what we're gonna do today, is we're gonna do. I'm gonna work on some train 2.0 work. So I'm gonna follow the first week of the skating course, the stick handling course, and then the shooting course. So I got my little paper written now. One thing I'd always recommend if you're training on your own is always write it down on paper so that you got it. Not on your phone because your phone gets cold and then it usually dies. Well, at least mine does. Good old iPhone. So what I would say is. Always get that paper, write it down beforehand. It doesn't take much time, but it's always worth it. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, some corkscrews, some, some McKinnon shuffles for skating, should be fun. We got some stick handling flows, so I'm just gonna go through those, get the hands going nice and quick, nice and strong. And we got for our shooting, for the course that I made, um, we're gonna go through the kneeling shots, stationary, knee cave shot, which is the line A shot, a couple more line A shots, a couple Matthew shots. I'm gonna throw it up on the, uh, use the tablet, use some time delay stuff, which uh, splits the screen up into four different time frames, so you can watch your, your past reps after you do it, which is always good. It's, uh, it definitely helps your training because you can see what you need to fix while you're resting because you can't just go a thousand miles an hour the whole time. So while you're resting, you can just check out what you're doing. So that'll be fun. So today's the first kind of structured day. Uh, so yeah, sorry. So after after we finish our, our skating, our hands and our shooting, we basically got, I'm going to throw in some speed stuff. So around pylons and sticks, flipping over the sticks, getting the, the variation, the speed. And putting together some flows. I find that's always a good way to end. If you listen to my podcast, Corson's Journey, you'll probably see that I really find I missed out on those flows and moving quickly and being reactive to different pylon setups. Uh, I found it helped me in the past and I neglected it this year. So I'm going to get back to that. Um, I'm excited. Today's the first kind of structured day, like I was saying. And it's going to be a good day. I'm going to definitely make a lot of improvements and adjustments. Use the tablet to speed up and really 10x that. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. I'm excited. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys after, hopefully. If not, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.